Hi, in this video I'll show you how to create a small multiples data visualization using a stacked column chart or a bar chart. Now small multiples is a term that was popularized by Edward Tufte. He was a pioneer in the data, data visualization field and he coined that term small visualizations and basically it's just a way to see uh, similar data that has uh, different uh, categories in kind of a smaller compact way. So for example we have this questionnaire and this is only three questions and we have a yes and no and not sure field. In some cases what we can do is put these three particular series of data in three separate charts. So we have one chart that may, ha that may have yes, there may be another chart that may be have no, another chart that have not sure but it's basically three separate charts and we just put them side by side. You, I have another video that shows you how to create those and it, it could also be called a panel chart. But in this particular setting, I'll show you how to do it all in one chart. You can notice here if I click on this particular chart, it's all encapsulated as one chart. And there's just some way to do it with the helper columns that would give you a buffer space in between to create this, this type of data visualization. So let's see how it's done. I'm going to just copy this data here. Let me just, actually let me just control A uh, to select everything. Control C just to select that. Go into insert a new sheet. Make this a little bit bigger. And I'm just going to insert the, I'm going to insert it, I'm going to paste it as, as it is. And you notice that I have these helper columns now because I've hidden them in this particular sheet. Now to explain this helper column, what happens here is, let me go back to sheet one. This helper column, what it, do, what it does is it also has a space here. It is part of this graph. So if I go back into sheet two, these numbers are part of that graph. And what I need to do is for each portion of this, this helper column is the helper column for this yes, this helper column is the helper column for this no, and this one for the not sure these need to equal 100%. So you notice if I select on those two, they're going to equal 100%. The same here, that equals 100%, and this one equals 100%. Now, once I created uh, these helper columns here, I'm going to insert a chart and go to insert a bar chart, and this is going to be a a stacked 100% stacked bar chart. You'll notice that it goes from 0 to 100% on the x-axis. So select this chart, and we have it here. And the reason why, you'll notice that the axes are a little bit different. I don't want my um, these fields on the y-axis. I want them on the x-axis. So I'm just going to go under Select Data and switch column and row. Click OK. And now it's correct. So the questions show up as these particular segments here on the y-axis and the yes helper, no helper, and not sure helpers, uh, these are part of the series here. What I need to do now is I want to make those disappear. So these helper columns, the bars that are for each of the stacked uh, bar charts, they need to dis disappear. So this is going to be a non-fill. Now I'm going to change the color here, go under format, and under shape fill, it's going to be no fill and also for the outline fill. I don't need this outline that's showing up there. I'm going to go under outline fill and no outline. Let me click outside and you can see that it's gone. It's still there. If I click here you'll notice that it's selected it but it's just not there because there's no fill. I want to do that to the second helper here. The second helper column. Click on that. Now I can also go up under format, shape fill, or I can just right click and I have these uh, mini menus here and I'll just click on fill no fill for the fill outline and no outline for that one. And do the same thing for the helper column for the last one there. Right click, uh, fill, no fill, outline, no outline. Now I'm going to remove my grid lines here. Click on that. Whoops. Let me click out here maybe. Let me click over here. A little bit tricky to click those grid lines. So I selected it, press delete, and now it's gone. Now what I want to do is get the labels in. Select what this series, right click and add data labels. So I'm going to add the data labels that show up here. Do the same here, right click and add data labels and right click this set of series of data and 
add data labels. All right? So all I need to do now is do some formatting. Click on that and move, click on this one again. I'm going to move this one over here, closer to the end here. Click on this one and move it over to the end here. So there are all kinds of lines over to the left. Do the same thing here. Move this one over here. That looks OK. Move this one closer to the end here. Maybe I'll move this one a little bit more. Right? And then that all looks OK because they're pretty, they're pretty small. Now I don't need this helper. I don't need this legend here. So I'm going to click on the legend. Press delete. Also, I might change the color of this particular fill. It's too dark blue, so I'm going to change that maybe to a green. Now, if I want to sh just show this particular worksheet and not have these help helper columns show up, I can, I can hide them. So I select that, press the Control button, select that one, and select that one, right click, and click on Hide. But you notice what happens when I do that. The chart changes. And so what's happening here is when you hide those columns, it's going to hide the data in the chart. Let me control Z to undo this. What I want to do first is I want to change some of the settings in the chart. I clicked on the chart, go under design, under select data, click on the hidden and empty cells, and then check this box where it says show data in hidden rows and columns. So it's going to keep that data there once I hide the columns here. Click OK and then click OK. And now when I select on here, press Control, press this particular column, select this particular column, right click and select Hide. Now you notice it hasn't done that. It hasn't gotten rid of oh, the data there. I just need to adjust this now and I should have done that probably later, Adjust, make these adjustments later after I did some of the uh, changes here. Another thing that actually I probably should have considered doing before I did this was to make sure that when the cells move here it doesn't change the chart size. So let's control Z to undo this and I'm going to select this chart again and go under format and go under the size here click on that and now I'm going to format the chart area. So this chart area is we want to make sure that we are formatting the chart area and under properties under properties here we're going to say don't move or size with cells. So it's going to keep this aspect ratio or this particular set of uh, height and width parameters even when we move the columns here or the rows there. So click on the X to close that. That's set already. Now I can go ahead and click on that particular column, press Control to multi-select, select E column, select G column, right click and then select hide and now you notice this has not changed even though that's moved it kind of compressed it. Basically, it's hidden those particular columns, but it hasn't changed the size of the area of this chart. right? So I can change this chart title now. I'll just call it something like I did before. I'll just call it questionnaire. Oops. Question air. I spelled it right, I hope. And let me move it over here. Let me move it over here. Hmm, questionnaire. I think that's actually spelled with two N's. Question, air, and then one R, right? Oops. And then delete the R. So that's questionnaire. Now I need to just put the labels here. Yes, no, not sure. All I need to do is just insert a text box. So I click on insert, text box. Let me go and print, select here. Just type yes. And make sure this is the same font and size as these click on any one of these labels here. Click on, let me click outside, click on that. It looks like this is Calibri 9, so let's make this Calibri 9. Double click that. It's 11, so I'm going to make it 9. And also, I need to change some of the parameters here because even looks like it, even though it looks like it's blank, the fill, the fill is white, so because if I hover over here, you, you'll notice that it covers the lines, so I need to make some changes here, and I don't need that border around there. So this is selected, go into Format, and for shape fill, it's going to be no fill. And for shape outline, it's going to be no outline. Let me move it over here. It looks like it fits. And press Control D because I want to make a duplicate copy of this. And this is going to be the no. So click on that, type no. Double click on that, type no. And let's see, that looks good. Let's select that one. 
press Control D, it would duplicate that. And I'm going to go over here. And this is going to be not sure. Double click, not sure. All right. And so this doesn't look like it made it into one line across. So I'm going to scoot that out a bit. And now we have our chart. So this is an example of a small multiple chart. And instead of breaking this into three separate bar charts, this is all one bar chart, all one stacked bar chart. So one more thing, I think we don't need this axis down here. So I'm going to select that and just press delete. And that makes it disappear. And so it's a little bit more cleaner. And you have your questionnaire. You have your questions. Let me double click this to make it a little bit bigger. You have your questions here. And <laughs> you'll notice once I did that, it changed uh, this particular setting, the, the, the um, the uh, labels here. So I have to move these back. Let me select this and move this back here. So you notice that even though we create this chart, there, is a, there are a couple of things that we have to be in, keep in mind when we create this type of chart. We also have to edit a little bit once, once we um, make it. But it's not that bad. So it's pretty easy to do. So there you go. There's your small multiples data visualization with a stacked bar chart. So I hope this helps. Thanks for watching.